Yo, so if you want to step your trading game up, like grab these three indicators, all right? You need the 200 EMA or SMA, either one, don't really matter. You need a 20 moving average, and you need your stochastic oscillator, all right? So on the stochastic, let me give you the settings. You feel me? Click on your settings, go to levels, my bad. 92 and 6 on your levels. Hit save, boom, you're done. And then, of course, your 20, you change that to whatever color you want, to 200, boom, all right? So this is what needs to happen right here. You get an overbought or oversold level on your stochastic. As you can see right now, the market is overbought, meaning it's been going up, boom. And it's getting ready to potentially drop, okay? So that's the play right now for that. Anytime the market is oversold down here, right? Oversold, you're looking to buy. All right, we got that. Boom. Now, where does this 20 come in at? This 20 is my orange line right here. That's my 20 moving average. All right? The candles always stick close to it. All right, so this is something you need to know. Remember how I told you all about news? Like when news hit, you get a long spike. You see this spike right here? This spike right here was a news candle. One thing about news and how to catch retracements on that, just to add this in there, is I told you, whatever direction it's spike in, it got to retrace back. And it did. All right? Even to the upside. Spiked up, came back, dropped. But with that 20 moving average, the candles stick close to it, and they got to. So they can never get too far away from it before it got to come back and touch that 20. All right? So remember that, as you can see over here. Market came down low, came back, touched that 20, right? Got to. It got to come back to it. It got to come back close to it. So if it ever get too far away, it got to come back close to it. Now, of course, we know that that, that 20 moving average is going to control that trend. I mean, a 200 moving average is going to control the trend. So whenever these candles are above this 200, when they're above it, 200 is this turquoise line right here. Whenever they're above it, uptrend, right? Then when the market's going straight up. Whenever they're below it, as you can see here, with all these right here, the market's got to come down. Boom. Okay? So, you can use your 20 moving average as a barrier, as like support or resistance uh, in this situation. So, it's a couple things you can look for, right? You can, all, you can look for a 20 and a 200 crossover, right? So, that's one play. I'm going to show you the crossover right here. Boom. Right? They crossed under the 200 early, so this could have been a cool little entry. You feel me? Boom. We got a drop. Then you got another entry right here. Boom, at the cross for another sell. Right? To catch it on the way down. So that's one play. All right? Another play is watching the 200 carry the candles. I mean, that watching the 20 moving average carry the candles. All right, so you'll see here that the market dipped low a little bit, right? He dipped low, came above this 20. Boom. Right? Now, when it comes to this, this ain't something you just want to hop in. Always remember that the market, so I'm just going to, let's say this is a box, right? And let's say the market is kind of just going sideways. I draw a couple candles. Let's say the market just going sideways in this box, right? We got a couple of, you know, up candles, a couple of down candles, but for the most part, it's sticking to the box, all right? Meaning the market is going sideways in consolidation. This is what you want to do. You want to wait until we get a candle to close outside this box, get a couple more, and you wait on the retest, meaning the market has to come back down to this box, so I'm just going to stand the box a little bit. The market has to come back down to this box, and this right here is your entry, the retest. Boom, for the buy, all right? Now, the 20 moving average will be right up in here, right? So I'm going to show you that right here. You got a couple different ones, but boom. Okay, so we see the market start coming up right here. We got the retest on the 20 moving average. Boom. Market shot up. Came back. Retested again at the 20 and got the crossover. I mean, at the 200 and we got the crossover on the 20 and the uh, 200. 
and then the market shot up. Boom. Right? Remember, it can't stay too far away from the uh, the 20. So we were pretty high here. It had to come back, get close to that 20 again for another retest. You could have got in another entry. Boom. Hindsight is 2020, right? They say, oh, it's always easier to look at it. You know, no, this, we really do this. This is what we do every day, literally. This is it, it too easy. Like, I've been doing this for so long now that I could just visually see. So, basically, if you ever get a the market that pushed through the 20, watch it retest the 20, then get in for the buy. All right? Retest the 20. Boom. For example, right here. Boom. Market came down. Retest that 20. Sell off. Boom. You caught major pips. Came up, retest again, went above, but didn't cross the 200. That's another rule. All right? If we break past the 20, but we don't break past the 200, we're coming right back down because the 200 controls the trend. All right? So you got multiple entries. You can enter here. You can enter here. Another one. Sell off. Retest at the 20 again. Sell off. Now it's retesting. Whoops. Now it's retesting again right here at the 20 again right now, currently, for another drop. All right? And so this is what that, that 20 moving average can do for you, you know what I'm saying, and the 200. If you line it all up, so basically whenever you're trading, you need multiple confirmations, all right? So just to keep it simple, I wait on overbought and oversold levels on my stochastic, right? So you got a bunch of different plays, so I'll give you a play right here. So let's say we got the oversold level right here. I mean, the market been coming down too long. Boom. Right, we look right up. This is the entry right here. Perfect entry. Right? That's an early entry. We already see it's above the 20. We got the cross right there. We're going straight up. Boom. We buy in. All right. Now, how long do you hold the trade like that? You can hold until this cross back over at the top. Or if it stays above this 20, you can keep holding. As long as we stay above the 20 and the two, you good. As long as you got all this space in here. When you got all this space, this big gap in here, oh, you in there. Because that 20 moving average is going to carry the trade. It's going to carry the candles, right, until it decides to break through. But, again, as long as we ain't broke through this 200, you can keep holding, right? The moment it breaks through the 200, boom, right here, and starts to come down here, right, you can get out. Or you can get out way sooner than that. You know what I'm saying? When you at your peak. If you feel like you're at your peak, you can get out. But at least, like I said, once you, once you start going to profit, you could trail it. Trail it here at the pullback. As soon as it pull back and go up, trail it. Throw your uh, stop loss there. Boom. Now you're in profit. Let it run. Let it run. By the time you get back down there, you can make some money. Or you can close it out before then. You know what I'm saying? But this is the kind of stuff that we look for. You see what I'm saying? So we wait on overbought, oversold levels, and we monitor that thing. You feel me? It's the best thing going. The best thing going. All right, this right here, straight up. This was that that news candle. So right here, boom, we was already here at the top. So that's telling us we need to sell. All right, another reason how I knew we was going to sell is because they got away from the two, the 20 moving average. It got too far away from it. Got to come back and touch it, just like this one. We got way too far away from the 20, had to come back and touch it. All right, so that's how you could be more confident in your trades whenever you're trading. You're like, okay, well, we, we pretty far away from that 20. You got to come on back. That's how you can read the pullbacks. That's how you know when the market about to come back and retest, all that kind of stuff, all right? But that's multiple confirmations. We're already pretty much in the semi-downtrend anyway, so that's another confirmation. So first confirmation here, second confirmation here, third confirmation this, right? And you in there. Simple as that. Now, let's go look at, a, let's go look at a, uh, another pair. You know what I'm saying? Let me go look at, um, I'll look at USD CAD. Just something random. Boom, what I told you. Immediately. It's the power of that 20 moving average. I'm telling you, look. Why did we sell off here? A couple different reasons. Stochastic was high. And we got too far away from what? That 20 moving average right here. We got too far away from it, and he had to pull on back. Bop. All right. Now, if you do binary options, that Keltner channel, that middle is the 20. So, I always keep that in mind. That middle of the Keltner is the 20. Moving average, all right? But this is something that's going to bless your life, trust me, all right? Just remember that. But just keep in mind a couple different things. Another thing I want to uh, uh, let y'all know is that 
Whenever you, you want to see a change in direction, all right, let me come over this way so I can kind of show you. Boom. Whenever you want to see a change in direction, all right, so let's say the market's coming down, as you can see here. Boom. All right, we got a sell candle here. Then we basically got an engulfing candle here that just engulfed that previous candle. Whenever you see that and we close above that 20, we can enter here, take off, boom, right? Or you can look at the stochastic, that green cross the blue. That's, that's just what my colors is. Yours might be different because I just, you know, customize my colors. But we got a cross here. We cross the bud here. We in there, right? Whenever you get a, a small close on a, on a red and a huge green or vice versa, same right here. Look at this. Small close green, huge blue. You can enter, boom, sell. Boop, and we caught all that. Bop, right? Or you can enter before the end based off here, because this is close to the, you know what I'm saying? We close to that 92. But that next, as soon as this one engulf, boom. And we see it, oh, okay, we engulf that. We selling off, boom. You can catch small pips that way. Or you could just trade directly with the trend. You see what I'm saying? So the trend is we're going up. Market goes up. Does a decent pullback. We didn't cross this 20. We didn't cross this 200 moving average. So we got a pullback there. We take off. Boom. You feel me? And so that's that's just you know a good rule of thumb whenever you're in these pairs. You'll be able to start to see this stuff clear as day. All right. And you want to catch some snipers. Another thing, let's reiterate this. Um, whenever the market is moving like sideways, right, like this, and we small, just like I told y'all, we in that box. Now, they didn't quite give us a retest, but they did cross below that, that 200, I mean that 20, crossed below it, closed below it, so you could have entered right here. Boom, took off. Retest the 20. Boom, we got the retest right here. Sell off again. And you see how that, that 20 moving average right here is holding these candles together. It's holding it. Boom. Then we start crossing above it, and we got up out of there. But this is the power of that 20 moving average that 200 moving average on how to really see the market how you need to see it. You know what I'm saying? Because this is going to allow you to place longer trades, place better trades, and you will know, okay, anytime I got a sideways market that's not really making no moves, I know whichever direction it chooses, right? You can either wait on that retest, but if the retest don't happen, pay attention to that 20, see where the candles are. They start busting out there. You might even miss both of these candles, but you might catch this on mid when I said, let me hop in, boom. Catch some pips. Wait till it retests, because you know it got to. I told you, it can't get too far away. It got too far away, had to come on back to that 20. Then come on back down, boom. All right? So I need y'all to go practice that. You know, holler at your boy. Let me know how it worked for you. Play around with it, and it's going to get you right. It's your boy, Jay Cash. Comment below what y'all want to see, and I'll holler at y'all. Let's get it.